Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running an Amazon Linux 2 VM in Proxmox. To begin, launch a web browser and log into the Proxmox web UI. Right click on the target Proxmox node and select Create VM. Give the VM a name and unique ID. On the OS tab, select Do Not Use Any Media. On the System tab, check the QMU Agent box. On the Disks tab, click the trash bin next to the existing disks to remove it. On the CPU tab, set cores to two or more and set the type to host. On the Memory tab, set memory to one gigabyte or more. On the Network tab, leave the defaults, then confirm your settings and click Finish. Click on the Proxmox node name, then launch the web-based shell. Now using bash commands, we'll download and import the official Amazon Linux 2 virtual disk. We'll start by using regular expression to retrieve the download URL for the latest Amazon Linux 2 virtual disk. Then using wgit, we'll download the file. Then we'll use the qm command line utility to import the disk to our VM. Make sure to update the VM ID and target storage device name before executing the command. With the virtual disk imported, we can close out of the web-based shell. Back in the Proxmox web UI, select the Amazon Linux VM, then select the hardware option. Double-click on the unused disk, then click Add. Click the Add drop-down, then select Cloud init drive. Select a storage device, then click Add. Now select the Cloud init option from the left sub-navigation menu. Double-click User and enter a username. Then double-click Password and enter a password for the new user. Double-click the IP config option and select DHCP or set a static IP address. Then click OK. Select Options from the sub-navigation menu. Then double-click Boot order. Enable the SCSI Zero drive. Then drag it up to be second in order. Click OK. With all the configuration out of the way, we're ready to start the VM. Once the boot process completes, log in with the credentials we set up in the Cloud init options. Next, we'll elevate to the root shell using sudo su. Then we'll execute a command to preserve the hostname across system reboots. Now we can use hostname ctl to set the hostname inside the VM. With the VM hostname squared away, we'll run the yum check update command, then yum update to install any available software updates. Next we'll install the qmu guest agent using yum install qmu guest agent. A reboot is required for the guest agent to start, so we'll shut down and then start the VM again. Welcome to Amazon Linux, running as a virtual machine inside a Proxmox.